Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the arc length parameterization of a curve. If we're given a curve r of t, which is f of t i hat plus g of t j hat plus h of t k hat, we can define we have the speed of the curve as r prime of t length. And so what we'll do is we'll define the arc length parameter of the curve. The arc length parameter s is defined by the relationship that s is the integral from a to t, which is a t here is called the general parameter, so s is the integral from a constant, this constant can be chosen to be whatever you want, to make your computa computation easy, it's the integral from a constant to the general parameter of the speed of the curve. And so our procedure to find arc length parameter is to compute this integral. We're going to, one, compute the integral. And two, we're going to solve for t. We must solve for t. And after we solve for t, we plug that back into the equation. So let's see an example of finding the arc length parameterization of a curve. So here's an example. If you look at this curve r of t, which is the cosine of t squared i hat plus the sine of t squared j hat, we've seen before that this curve parameterizes the unit circle. If I compute the speed of this curve, what do we see? We see r prime of t is negative 2t sine of t squared i hat plus 2t cosine of t squared j hat. And the speed of this curve, r prime of t length, is equal to the square root of negative 2t sine of t squared squared plus 2t cosine of t squared squared. And this will turn into a square root of 4t squared times cosine squared of t squared plus sine squared of t squared. And that expression is equal to 1, so this is just 2 absolute value t. So the arc length parameter, s, s will be, let's integrate from a constant. I'll choose that constant to be 0 to make my calculation a little bit easier to t. And if you don't choose 0 or you don't choose the right lower limit of integration, you can go back in the problem and change it to make your formula look a little bit nicer. It won't change the answer at all. So the integral from 0 to t of the speed of the curve, so I'm going to put a 2. Now remember that u here is a dummy variable, so we need to use a dummy variable since I'm already using t as my limit of integration, so that's a dummy variable. 2 u du. So this will be equal to u squared from 0 to t, which is t squared. So the relationship we have is that t squared is equal to s. Therefore, if I solve for t, I'll have that t is equal to plus or minus the square root of s. So we'll choose just the positive square root of s, since I'm only considering positive values of s or t. So now we plug it back into our curve. So our r, our original r of t was this. So let's fill in what s is. So r is a function of s instead of t will be the cosine of t squared. So that's going to be a root s squared i hat plus the sine of root s squared j hat, which is just equal to, this is just equal to, that's equal to the cosine of s i hat plus the sine of s j hat, and this is our unit speed parameterization. So what's happened is by finding this arc length parameterization, we've put the curve into a new parameter, and this new parameter has unit speed. This curve over here, an arc length parameter, this curve, the resulting curve, 
has unit speed. And this is always a feature of arc length parameterization. If you put a curve into arc length parameterization by this procedure, you will put your curve, the resulting curve will be the same image, it will just have a unit speed. Thank you very much.